important here brother's supposed to have his record playing. Shit, missed out on the grub. <laughs> With further story of Alhambra, The Memories of the Alhambra was written in 1896 in the city of Granada. Francisco Tarrega was a guitarist and composer. Okay, we got him a jar of so, man. Got him a jar of so. And an episode of The Sopranos. Our grand tour will continue with a poetic journey to Russia. Still to come from Pittsburgh Symphony Radio. We'll hear the Montford Symphony by Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky. I hope you'll let me know where your home is. I'm Jim Cunningham. Maria Toronjo is the president and CEO of the Pittsburgh Symphony. The associate conductors are Earl Lee and Andres Franco. The Pittsburgh Symphony is always on the air on the Pittsburgh Concert Channel and the WQED.org website. You can hear archive concerts available on demand 24 hours. What an energetic day, man. I used that three days worth of energy in one day. On a Sunday, too. <laughs> Free souvenir from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Symphony Radio Guide with photographs of some of our guest artists this season. Write to Pittsburgh Symphony Radio, 4802 Fifth Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA, 15213. Pittsburgh Symphony Radio is made possible by the McKinney Charitable Foundation. Through the PNC Charitable Trust's Grant Review Committee by UPMC. Uncommon is changing medicine as we know it. Uncommon is daring to question the established way. At UPMC, we're transforming healthcare. One fearless idea. I was watching Stevie Long Steve the other day play his 12 string boner. <laughs> You're listening to Pittsburgh Symphony Radio on PR. It's one talented motherfucker, man. He might even be a father fucker, too. <laughs> Brother does like the doink is joink. Or You're what's he called it? Dijong? KWRX Redmond FM 88.5. KWVZ Florence FM 91.5. KWRZ Canyonville FM 92.3. A listener-funded service of the University of Oregon. Also serving Newport on translator K217FZ, FM 91.3. Armenia Sabut, Jim Cunningham. Zagrovia. You may have noticed we're in Russia for Tchaikovsky's Manfred Symphony, Opus 58. One of his lesser known works, the Manfred Symphony, is included among Tchaikovsky's numbered symphonies. He considered it more of a symphonic poem. It's based on the literary classic Manfred, written by Lord Byron in 1817. Tchaikovsky suggested that Manfred was the most challenging composition of his career. Guest conductor Omer Meyer Belber agrees the Manfred Symphony is a workout. First of all, I think you have to really believe in it because it's a piece that does not speak, not always speaks for itself. I mean, you really need to do things. You need to wake it up. You need to convince the musicians, and you need to. You need to, to really love it, because it's a... You need to convince, convince. We're going to get much, much... The biggest problem of this piece is a, it's really a big construction, and it has a very, very big form. We're going to need to get convinced in here. Convince. We need to get someone to convince. <laughs> hey, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, it's a real construction. We need to get someone in here. Get to convince. But they need to convince. This is the, the, the magic of this piece. Omer Meyer Welber, our guest conductor at Heinz Hall, makes his American debut with this concert. He was born in Beersheba, Israel, in 1981. The story of Manfred, he appears in the Alps, tired of asking why we're here, tormented by hopeless longings and the memory of past sins, he suffers a cruel spiritual crisis. Manfred has plunged into occult science and commands the mighty powers of darkness, but nothing in this world can help him forget the memory of his lost love, Astarte. Astarte, the Phoenician goddess of fertility, plunges him into despair. With the second movement of Manfred, Vivace con Spirito, an alpine fairy appears before Manfred in the rainbow from the spray of a waterfall. The third movement, Andante con Moto, is a picture of the bear <laughs> of the mountain folk. Mm. The fourth and final movement of Tchaikovsky's Manfred symphony, Allegro con Fuoco, I can put my slobber spit and taste taste the grape. 
prince of earth and air who sits on the globe of fire where evil begins. Manfred has arrived at an infernal orgy. He turns up in the middle of the Bacchanal. Guess who's back? It's a vision of Astarte, his old girlfriend. Manfred is pardoned, but it's the final curtain just the same. We end with the death of Manfred. Here is Omar Meyer Welber to conduct the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra in music by Peter Illich Tchaikovsky, his Manfred Symphony. Well, I think, I think quite possibly, brother got his bat upside down over there. Halloween bat for Christmas. I, th I think we might want to conjure up a, a guitar, guitar mood at night. Uh, let's see if we can get this Macintosh to fire us up a... A drum, a drum sequence. Now that we got Tiger 10.4 loaded up with a brand new hard drive. We got a brand new record player in there. It's needle operated too. 500 GBs. Whew. We got 500 GBs on this. Five hundred BGs, brothers and sisters. Watch it fire up. There we are in the mirror. Brother got brand new 500 GBs on this sucker. Are on this this wonderful, wonderful artificial intelligence. Got us some gent right here. The gent, artificial intelligence. Kicks right on up in there. Look at that. Let's fire up the Q. Q and on. Fire up Q and on now. Got our second monitor over there. Okay. So let's go into the preference preference and let's put it on high quality. We're gonna go high quality. There it is, better. And we got our uh, USB system hooked up. Unavailable. Okay, that's telling me that we need to fire back up. So let's let's get out of it. Let's quit 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 the t quit the quicker. Quit the queue and bring the queue back up. There we go. We're built in now. Now let's go into preference. Strike up the sound. Make sure we're loaded up. There we go. Bring the record label up. Let's go half sound there. Put that over there. And bring the cue. Uh, new movie record. Got this tiny little thing right here. Here we are, got our time and date stamp, and so that's good for now.
uh, we'll see you later on this little teeny little iPod right here. Adios.